Shielded by a city wall and guarded by a legion, the military founders made sure their new home was a reflection of Rome. I walked across the park to a place where Rome's influence on the city planners clearly left its mark. The building behind me may look like an enormous greenhouse, but it is in fact an exact replica built on a one-to-one -one scale of the outline of a Roman bath. The ruins of that bath lie beneath. Public bathing was at the heart of the Roman lifestyle, and this bath out here in the colonies is designed just like the great baths in Rome. Bathing consisted of a specific routine performed in various temperature zones, ranging from cold to a very hot 120 degrees Fahrenheit. It was all done with an innovative heating system called a hippocaust. I met with Dr. Norbert Zeeling, director of excavation at the Xanten Park, to learn more about Norbert? the Roman heating system. No. What are you going to show me? I want to show you our bath. This room is one complete hippocaust in Roman times, of course. And what you see here is just a reconstruction of it. So this is just part of, you know, hippocaustum that originally would have been in the whole room, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Does this rate as a large one or is it a small one? It's a large one. This is a big one. And is this pattern of construction typical of a hippocaust? Yeah, it's quite typical. You can find it everywhere in the Roman world. And this is how the Roman heating system worked. In a hippocaust, literally translated, the fire beneath, air was heated in a wood or coal-burning furnace and directed under a floor raised on small pillars. Clay pipes were built into one or more walls, and as the warm air rose, both the floor and the walls heated up. It, it took a lot of time to make it hot, but when it was hot... It stayed hot? It stayed hot. So, in effect, what you're saying is that this was a very thermally efficient system? It was. Yeah, that's right. Visiting the archaeological park in Xanten was like stepping back into Roman times. But when it comes to understanding history, nothing beats first-hand experience. Xanten offered a rare opportunity thanks to a reconstructed private bath. I was curious to find out what made the Roman bath so special. And when the management offered to heat up the Xanten bath, the park's architect, Dr. Peter Keensler, was only too happy to join me. This is a delightfully warm bath, Peter. Is it heated by the same system that heated the floor and the walls? Yes, there's a testudo over there. Testudo means turtle. Exactly. The amazing thing about the hippocaust is that while it heats the floor and the walls, it also heats the bath water. A hollow receptacle called testudo sits directly over the fire in the furnace. It opens into the bath, and by way of convection, the cold water sinks and the hot water rises. The cold water circulates into the furnace where it is heated, and then flows back into the bath. A clever adaptation of a basic scientific principle. What most astonishes me is the sheer effort they put into having a good bath. The energy, the technology, the time and 